And it's going to get much colder tomorrow, and in fact, we could get a few flurries moving in late day into Saturday evening. Gray skies and cool temperatures on Sunday becoming a bit milder on Monday with high temperatures climbing to the upper 40s. So that cold front is currently moving through our area, extends down through Wisconsin and Illinois and down into the deep south. And it's cold enough for a snowstorm across sections of North Dakota and South Dakota. We will not be getting anything as far as hefty snow totals, but we could see a few snowflakes flying late tomorrow. Temperatures around the Midwest are at 73 in Pittsburgh, at 66 in Detroit, 46 in Green Bay. This black line is indicating the freezing line. And so on the other side of it, we're seeing temperatures close to or below freezing where it's 30 degrees in Rapid City. And we have some of this colder air that's going to be moving into our area throughout this weekend. Tonight, the rain's going to come to an end. And in fact, much of the daytime tomorrow is looking dry, mostly cloudy. A couple of scattered snow showers over northern Wisconsin, also off this map into northern Minnesota, but around our area, really not a whole lot going on throughout the morning and afternoon. Then tomorrow evening, we have the chance to see a few flurries moving through our area into early Sunday as well. Temperatures should be warm enough Sunday afternoon that any patchy showers would be coming in the form of rain, but we could get another couple of flurries moving through our area late Sunday into Sunday evening. For tonight, low temperatures in many places dropping below the freezing mark. A low of 30 degrees in Marquette, down to 28 overnight in Iron Mountain and Iron River, and about uh, 32 degrees in Escanaba, 34 in Munising with any showers coming to an end. Mostly cloudy skies during the daytime, a chance of showers or flurries in the evening, and high temperatures tomorrow only reaching 41 degrees in Marquette and Iron Mountain, about 43 degrees in Houghton and Berga and 45 degrees in Escanaba with a breeze coming generally out of the south. So for tomorrow, a chance of showers or flurries holds off until the evening, but it's going to be a cool start to the day with morning temperatures near 30 degrees. A high of 41 in the afternoon and mostly cloudy, and then a chance of showers or flurries in the evening with temperatures dropping into the middle 30s. A low of 30 degrees or early Sunday, so another cool start to the morning. Highs near 44 degrees with a chance of scattered showers or flurries, but in the afternoon it should be warm enough for rain showers. 47 on Monday with cloudy skies. Tuesday should start with dry weather late day Tuesday. The chance of showers will increase and high temperatures near 46 degrees. A chance of scattered showers during the first half of Wednesday with highs around 47 degrees. On Thursday, partly cloudy skies, highs around 50 and high temperatures climbing toward the middle 50s next Friday with a possibility of showers.